So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I recently obtained a very large collection of Vintage Moon Dreamers dolls and accessories and I have been listing them. These are all currently for sale. The Moon Dreamers were produced by Hasbro in 1986. Um, it was a very short-lived toy line. There was um, like a cartoon that had come out and then obviously all of the dolls that corresponded. Um, but like I said, it was very short lived and it wasn't as popular as some of the other 80s toys of that time like um, My Little Pony and things of that nature. So a little bit more of an obscure, I would say, toy line. Um, these were all kind of celestial themed. They all had glow-in-the-dark aspects to them. Um, it was a very cute, I mean very, very cute dolls. I absolutely <laughs> love them. I personally didn't have any when I was younger. And I find pieces of them every so often while out at yard sales, but I've never actually had a collection like this before. So like I said, all of these are for sale. I will put up the prices of what I listed them for as I'm showing you each doll. Um, one of them actually has already sold, so that's amazing. Um, but this is just kind of to, one, give you guys a look at these dolls. Um, not sure if anyone is even familiar with them, so if you would come across one um, after you watch this video, you'll know uh, that you're looking at a moon dreamer. And some of these can be very, very valuable because like I said, it was a very short-lived um, toy, so they are desirable now um, with toy collectors and actually kind of harder to find as well. Um, so to give you guys a look at them and also for my own documentation so I can look back and watch this video because after they sell, you know, I don't have them anymore. Um, so this is a really cool collection and I hope you guys are excited to see the dolls. This moon dreamer was called Dream Gazer and she was a mysterious moon dreamer who had great understanding of everything under the stars. She has this really cute jacket um, and this beautiful purple dress underneath and she's got this like clear plastic halo headpiece and she glows really nicely especially on the robe as well as her hair. Let's take a look at the back of her. Yeah. Lots of really nice glow to her. That is Dream Gazer. This one is called Crystal Star and she is the beautiful star architect and leader of Starry Up. And here is her glowing in all of her wonderful glowy goodness. Very cute. This one was the necklace for Crystal Star. Next we have Bucky Buckaroo. He is a star roping, cloud punching, comet busting cowboy and the inventor of the dream machine. Take a look at that hair and the shoes. Love him. So all I have for him is just just the doll, his outfit, and his shoes. Sparky Dreamer is in charge of star production, dream fulfillment, and sky maintenance. So here we go with the hair. We have, this one has glasses and this really cute um, jumpsuit. Absolutely love this one. Kind of like a slight mullet. <laughs> I mean, this is a very 80s. 80s styling right there with the hair. So I'm partial to this one as well. This one here is Whimsy and she operates this dream machine and chooses the best dream for each little sleeper. And her hair just, ah, I love how her hair glows and her little moon and belt. Very, very cute. That one's super nice. This one here is one of the Star Finders dolls, and this one is called Ursa and Blinky. 
So Blinky loves adventure and her curiosity often gets her into trouble. And Blinky's constant companion is Ursa, a huge cuddly mother bear. So this one was a set that came with um, an animal figure. And this set actually already sold, so um, very popular one. And I did have the necklace still for this one as well as the comb. Here is another Star Finders doll. And this one is of Bitsy and Rory. Bitsy is shy and hardworking while her companion Rory the Lion is outgoing, courageous, and a bit of a snob. <laughs> so she glows really nicely and then Rory also has um, little stars on him and areas that glow. And this one does have her little dream crystal necklace. I also have the Celeste doll and she would have come with Galaxia and Galaxia, these were called the Twilight Team. So this was only one doll and her pet. I do not have her pet, uh, but it says, when it's time to sleep, Celeste and her magical dragon, Galaxia, bring on the night. Adventurous Celeste and adorable but shy Galaxia tow the moon in place and pull the starry night across the sky. So again, like I said, I don't have Galaxia, um, but I do have Celeste and this little hair barrette would have gone to the Galaxia pet. Um, but here she is. She is definitely a harder one to come by, a harder Moon Dreamers um, doll to come by. So she's worth, worth a good bit. So, but unfortunately I just have her. Next I have Ursa Minor, this little bear here. And this actually goes to a ship. I do not have the Moon Dreamers ship, uh, but he would have, have come with it. And this is like his little, his little seat that he would sit on. And this one, the chair does glow a bit. Um, and he does ever so slightly, um, not as crazy as, you know, some of the, the other dolls, um, but he's also a little harder to find as well. The snoozers are the moon dreamers helpers and they're lovable friends who soothe little dreamers to sleep. Then I also have the snoozers. They made three snoozers that were produced. Um, the snoozers um, were the Moon Dreamers helpers. So this one here was called Stumbles and he would have had a pair of um, glasses, but I don't have those. Uh, but he does have, as with all of them, some glowy parts to him, his eye for sure. And these were all made with like a flocked type of material and definitely over the years the flocked toys um, sometimes would get discolored from age. I know there were some My Little Ponies that were flocked that also had the same issue with discoloration. He's got his little propeller hat. This snoozer was called Dozer, and he hushes any bumps in the night with his earmuffs. Again, no earmuffs for him that I don't have, but I do have his original cape. And that also glows as well as his hair. Again, another flocked one. The last one was named Stardust, and he gently sprinkles sleepy stardust from his bucket into children's eyes. Um, but again, no bucket for, for him. And here he is glowing. And again, also with that flocked material. So next up I have Scowling, and this was the villain of the Moon Dreamer. She was the mean dream queen from Monstrous Middle. Evil Scowling has never slept a wink in her life. She's always trying to steal the stuff that happy dreams are made of and make everyone as cranky as she is. With the help of the sleep creeps, she tries to keep everyone awake at night with loud noises and her bad dream crystals. So I do have 
her um, bad dream crystal necklace here and she is <laughs> really cute though I mean this face is just amazing she's in this gorgeous dress with these eyeballs she has on these fuzzy slippers I mean she is decked out her hair and face glow, the eyes on her dress glow. I mean, she's a really cool looking doll. I love this one. Next up, we have the Sleep Creeps. Again, there were three of these that were produced. And the Sleep Creeps are evil scowling helpers and the creatures that go bump in the night. So first up, we have Shiner. And he wakes children with his bright flashlight, which I don't have <laughs> his flashlight, uh, but he does glow. And these also had that same flocked texture as the snoozers. So this one here is Shiner. Then we have Creaky, and I actually have two of these, uh, but they both still have their shoes. And Creaky fills the night with creaky groans from his big shoes. So, that is what these look like. And they are wearing, <laughs> wearing some big green shoes. And that leads us to Squawker who makes loud noises with her megaphone. And I do have the megaphone for this one here. And they all do have their tails as well. I think the tails um, can like pop in and out. And I know sometimes um, they're hard to find with the tail still still in them. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments, if this has brought back any memories to you, if you've ever had any moon dreamers, or maybe you're someone who found this video because you are a collector yourself. Let me know down in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.